We're sight fishing whitefish. We're on Lake Simcoe. Hopes are high, positive vibes. We're gonna wait them out, see if we can put some on the ice. Stay tuned. Let's get this sight fishing rolling. We got a little sight hole right here. We're gonna sight fish some white fish and lake trout, hopefully. We're gonna clean this hole up, get the heater going. It's like minus 20 right now. Let's get them, hopefully they're around. Oh, I just got smoked. Got one on me right now. I see, him. I see him. He's on it. Oh my god, there's two of them. Two of them. Oh, he smoked it. <laughs> oh my god. I can't look down the hole. I always get tripped out when I look down the hole. Got him, got him, got him, <sighs> sick, sight fishing him dude, That's oh no, he's around my pole, oh gosh, oh god, I'm gonna lose him here, oh jeez, okay. I'm gonna lose him here for sure, oh, he's up, come here pole, <laughs> yeah, let's go, one on the board, oh, oh sick, I couldn't look down the hole because I'm like, I'm not going to be able to catch, see this fish, but <laughs> first whitey of the day. That is a beauty. Nice. That's one on the board, baby. Saw him on the screen. Dropped down to him. That was so weak. I just saw that thing eat it. I just saw that thing eat it. That was sick. Oh my gosh. Unreal. Oh my god. Wow. That was exhilarating. I saw this mark come in. Wow, that was unreal. Had to be really quiet. I had to be really quiet because I saw him come in. There's another beautiful white fish. Wow. It is a tough bite today, but we're trying to sight fish them down low. And uh, staying, staying as quiet as you can seems to be the trick. The minute I'm moving and fidgeting, I'm not seeing the marks, but the minute I'm really quiet, I don't talk as loud. When you're up in that shallow water, you get these fish. That was sweet. This is number two for the day. Not getting many fish right now this time of the year. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to keep this one too. I know my dad will be really happy. He loves his fish. My friends, my family, they all love fish. So I usually just give that around, but. Yes. Midday update. We got two on the ice, sight fishing. Um, we're seeing them come by. We're seeing them come by. We're not getting them to go. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I mean, um, 
I'm doing everything I can. We're on some nice bottom. You can see the bottom that we're on. I'll show you. It's like all shell. There's like some nice shell. It's all flat bottom. My lure is actually somewhere over here. My lure is somewhere over here. But then if you notice, look what's all around me. It's all boulders. So you got all boulders right over here. All the way. And then you got this border. This border of just nice shell. And then it starts, it's like a little crevice of shell. Some big rocks. And then all giant boulders just way over here. So what they're doing is the gobies, the gobies usually like to set up on these little flats like here. And when the whitefish come in, the gobies all skirt and they all s s swim as fast as they can to the boulders, like Finding Nemo kind of deal, you know. And um, that's like their safety is those boulders. So these these whitefish are just cruising those edges of those flats and then like they'll go right to the boulders because that's where the gobies are all gonna be running to, the crawfish are gonna be running to it, all the bait are gonna be going to the, to the boulders for cover. So I kinda drilled a bunch of holes, look down the holes cause I'm in shallow water, see what I'm set up on. If I'm on the boulders, drill another hole 10 feet away, get on that flat. When you're on that flat, you're gonna have a higher chance of fish coming by. You may not hook all of them, but you will have a higher chance of them coming by. And this time of the year, I don't know what it is, but it is tough on Simcoe. It is not easy. You know, we're marking 20 fish a day, landing maybe three or four. It is tough. Um, and I'm sure a lot of guys will agree to that. You know, I'm not out here catching 20, 30 fish. You know, we're, we're out here full days, we're not moving, because the more I move, the more I'm missing these bite windows. We're staying hunkered down. We know we're on a good spot. We know the fish are gonna come by which they have been and uh, it's just about a matter of waiting them out and hopefully the ones that do come around bite so little little rundown what we're doing right now I tried to black out the hut as much as I can but this clam doesn't really black it out as much so hopefully the sight fishing video comes out pretty cool but it's awesome seeing them eat it it is such a thrill when you just see them go right over it and you feel the thunk it's unreal so let's get back to it I'm gonna put the camera back on for the sight fishing and Thanks for tuning in. Let's see if we can put some more on the ice. Oh my gosh. Hold on, dude. I got like two of them down there. Got him. Got him. Hold on, dude. Got him. Whoa. Wow. Perfect timing. What a joke, man. They always go to the transducer. Oh, I'm off. You bugger. No. It's okay. Quick release. Quick release. Quick release. They always go to the transducer in the freaking water, man. Like the whole hole. They got to go to the transducer. Oh, that was really cool. You know, there's some of the both sight fishing them. You know, I was just missing that fish all the time. I just saw him hover over that lure and I saw him go... <laughs> just set the hook on him but that's the new drifter i set the hook um it's got the new bait fuel in it got that on a quarter ounce net head and uh i'm just able to see that lure go you know tickle that bottom in the shallow water and when it disappeared i knew we had it that was sweet That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Came up for it again and freaking didn't eat it. It's coming back. It's coming back. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Got him. Oh, here we go. Wow. That was sick. That was really cool. I just saw him come in. I saw the head of my jig. I saw him go. <laughs> so he was there. Uh oh, I'm stuck on the ice. This is a big one. 
is a bit. I don't know how good I got him hooked. Oh, no this is a really big white fish. Come on. That's a big whitey. It's a powerful fish. He's got it right down his throat too. Oh, wow. Turn your head, come here. This is a powerful fish. Come here. Wow, that's a big white fish. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Come here. I got nothing to push you against. Wow, that is a powerful fish. Look at this beauty. I'm gonna send him back in. All right. Oh, that's so cool. Made a little change up. Noticed the fish were not going on the lighter color. Went to the darker color with the black tail and they are keying in on that way better, way better. I see them come in and they're not turning away halfway to the to the lure. They're actually coming in and they're smoking it. Whew. Yes. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. Just gotta love it when they turn on. See them all hyped up on that lure. What a blast. What a blast. Well, once again, that is a wrap of Ruskies. We are headed back in. It was a pretty good day out. Uh, we saw lots of fish. Not many takers, but we saw lots of fish. Got a kind of idea on what they were doing. Changed up the colors, finally got a couple to go. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this sight fishing segment. Make sure if you do big holes, leave sticks or trees or any sort of, you know, warning that there is an open hole and that the ice isn't as thick as the rest of the ice around it so people know uh, just like a little warning don't go near the sticks all ice fishermen know if you see a tree you see a stick in the in the snow stay away because obviously someone did a bigger hole or you know something happened they put a ice hut permanent hut whatever if you see sticks you see trees don't go near them simple as that stay safe everybody Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one.